Johnson City, Tennessee. Have you thought about moving to Tennessee? Our corner of Northeast Tennessee is full of reasons why out-of-state buyers are relocating from other parts of the country, Johnson City being one of them. If you want to know more about Northeast Tennessee, and in particular the Tri-Cities, stick around because we're going to help you decide if Johnson City, Tennessee might be the place you want to call home. I'm Scott Henniger with The Home Team, brokered by eXp Realty, and Kim and I work to help buyers relocate to our area from out of state. Johnson City is one of the three cities in our areas that form the Tri-Cities or Appalachian Highlands as it's sometimes called. The other two towns are Bristol and Kingsport. Those of you that have seen our videos know that Kim and I were born and raised in Bristol and we've called it home for a very long time. However, when we think about home, we also think about the Tri-Cities. You can get from one town to the other in roughly 20 or 30 minutes, so it's no big deal to drive from one to the other. If we want to get crumble cookies, we drive to Johnson City. For our favorite Mexican food, we jump in the car and head to Kingsport. To avoid the Tennessee sales tax, then we head up I-81 a couple of exits and shop in Virginia. Each city has its own personality, but as a whole, the Tri-Cities feels like home. We've done a few videos about Bristol, as well as Kingsport, so you know how much we love the area. However, I will be perfectly happy living in any of our surrounding towns. The people are all friendly and welcoming, and each town has its own benefits and its vibe. There's something for almost everyone. You just need to figure out which area best suits you. So today we're talking about Johnson City. Let's quickly go over some background, then we'll get into what the city has to offer and why you might want to live in Johnson City. The city was founded in 1856 and largely grew based on mining and railroad interests. During Prohibition, Johnson City had the nickname Little Chicago thanks to bootlegging activity in the Appalachian Mountains, plus serving as a distribution center for Al Capone. In fact, there's an annual music and arts festival downtown each summer celebrating just this. Johnson City is the largest of the Tri-Cities with a population of around 71,000, with the metro area having a combined population of over 200,000. Over half a million people live in the entire Tri-Cities areas, which includes Bristol and Kingsport. Sure, none of the towns will never be considered a major city. However, the entire Tri-Cities area is the fifth largest area in the state and does offer a lot of amenities while giving you that more small rural feel. Several major companies are headquartered in Johnson City, but the biggest economic driver for the city is the university and the healthcare. ETSU and the medical MedTech Corridor contributes the greatest impact to the city's economy. ETSU has a medical college as well as a college of pharmacy, while Ballot Health and the VA Hospital contribute nearly 5,000 jobs to the area. Manufacturing also plays a role in the city's economy, with companies such as A.O. Smith and General Shell and Brick supplying well-paying jobs to the community. As of the recording of this video, the unemployment rate in Johnson City is just 3%, below the state average of 3.4% and the national average of 3.6%. Living in an area that's a little smaller does have its benefits. You'll find the local airport very easy to fly out of. The Tri-Cities Airport has direct flights to Atlanta and Charlotte, so you can still get anywhere in the world, but security lines are almost non-existent. We're only five and a half hours from the Carolina coast, six hours from the nation's capital, four hours from Nashville, and an hour and a half from the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. A lot of people in the area like to take a drive over to Asheville, North Carolina also, which is only about an hour away. So what makes Johnson City a great place to live? Here are a few reasons. The city offers a lot of outdoor activities, taking advantage of the beautiful backdrop of the Blue Ridge Mountains, which you can see from most of the city, plus nearby Boone Lake and the Watauga River. The city would also make a perfect home base if you're into backpacking, mountain climbing, biking, fishing, boating. The area boasts some of the most scenic drives in the south. Most of the schools in the area are highly ranked and is an artistic community thanks to young artists attending Milligan College and ETSU. There are community theaters, dance studios, an orchestra, plus concert venues. The city hosts many art, music, and food festivals throughout the year, 
making sure residents have plenty to do, and there's more. So let's dive into the outdoor activities first. Johnson City is just a few minutes from the Appalachian Trail. There are options for family-friendly, easier hikes like the Pinnacle Fire Tower hike, to the Lacey Trail and the Laurel Fork Loop Trail, which is a 15-mile strenuous hike that's recommended only for overnight backpacking. There are a ton of nearby waterfalls, including the Blue Hole Falls and Laurel Falls, and you can reach them with relatively easy hikes. Buffalo Mountain Park, just a couple of miles from downtown, has nine miles of hiking trails from beginners to more difficult hikes. White Rock Trail, for example, is a very strenuous three-mile hike with a 1,500-foot elevation gain and is a popular hike which leads to gorgeous views of downtown Johnson City. You can also head over to nearby Roan Mountain for more options. For just getting out and walking, you might want to check out the Tweetsie Trail, a newer rails to trails project that travels between Johnson City and Elizabethan. This family friendly 10 mile trail is built on an abandoned rail line and is relatively flat and can be biked or walked. As you might imagine, the city has several parks. One of the most popular for outdoor activities is Wing Deer Park, which fronts Boone Lake. You'll find walking and biking trails, soccer and softball fields, and an 18 hole disc golf course. They also have an amphitheater, which hosts concerts every Thursday in June through September. Now, if you're into mountain biking, you're gonna really be impressed with the Tannery Knobs Mountain Bike Park. Just blocks from the downtown area, it was designed and built by the International Mountain Biking Association, and is for riders of all ages and skill levels. It's built on 40 acres of heavily wooded ridge line and gives you some great views of the city. For those of you into rafting, head over to Irwin for whitewater rafting on the Nolichucky with anywhere from class one to class four rapids. Or if you prefer, you can enjoy a relaxing family float on the lower Nolichucky or the French Broad Rivers. Outfitters are available to provide everything you need, including guides. If you love enjoying scenery from your car or motorcycle, the area gives you plenty of choices. Close to the Blue Ridge Parkway in the mountains of North Carolina, a drive through the mountain is just minutes away. The Southern Dozen is a collection of 13 planned rides that start and end in Johnson City. Each ride is themed and features scenery, curves, historical landmarks, attractions, and more. Downtown Johnson City offers lots of specialty coffee shops, restaurants, breweries, live music, retail spaces, and more. For brunch, you might try Label or the Shamrock. Some of the best barbecue in town can be found at Southern Craft or the Firehouse. Head over to Timber for craft cocktails and comfort food. Or Mid-City Grill for the largest burger and vegan selection in downtown. If beer is your thing, several breweries are located downtown such as the Johnson City Brewing Company and Yeehaw Brewing. You'll find custom shops downtown from vintage clothing to bridal to gift shops to fine art. Downtown, you can visit King Commons Park, enjoy the art walk at Founders Park. Both are sites for events throughout the year, including Fridays after five and June through September, where you can listen to free music, the Little Chicago Music Festival and the Mountains Outdoor Festival. The Blue Plum Festival, held in early June, is a two-day music festival that's free to the public and lets you listen to over 20 acts on two stages. There are wellness events and of course plenty of arts and crafts as well as food vendors and the event is pet friendly. There's a jazz festival in March, the huge Appalachian Fair in August, and many more. What else would attract someone to Johnson City? How about the cost of living? Johnson City's cost of living is 18% lower than the national average. This comes from the lack of state income tax, lower property taxes, reasonable home and rental prices, along with lower costs such as insurance, health care, etc. The median home price in Johnson City is $277,750. Keeping more of your money is one of the benefits of living in Tennessee, and Johnson City gives you a lot of amenities without the cost. In fact, when I think about the benefits of Johnson City and why I'd want to live there, I think about how it gives you the country feel, but inside a bigger city. Of the Tri-Cities, Johnson City seems to have the larger town feel. The university adds 16,000 students to the mix, and that changes the vibe of the city to a somewhat younger atmosphere. There really are a lot of things to do, but much of the city still has a rural feel. 
Beautiful scenery is all around and the town has most things that you would ever need or want. For example, if you need an earth fair, you'd need to shop in Johnson City. The bigger concerts in the Tri-Cities generally come to Freedom Hall in Johnson City also. As I said at the start, each city has its own personality and amenities. You can't go wrong with any of them. But think about what's important to you and what type of environment you would be most happy with. If a younger vibe with a few more retail selections is what you're looking for, then consider Johnson City. If you'd like to know more about Johnson City or just our part of Northeast Tennessee in general, please reach out to us. Kim and I specialize in helping people relocate to the area and would love to help you decide if the Tri-Cities will be a good fit for you. Search the channel for our videos talking about other choices in the area and let us know which one sounds best to you. Look in the description below for a link where you can get a copy of our relocation guide and consider liking the video if you found it helpful. That really helps support our channel. This is Scott Henniger with the home team brokered by eXp Realty where we're exceeding expectations whether it's your first home or your last.